XXX Tentacion, aka Jesse Dwayne Onfroy. Born January 23rd, 1998, died June 18th, 2018 at 20 years of age. X was an American rapper, singer, and songwriter. Born and raised in the state of Florida. X began making music after being released from a youth correction center, where he met Ski Mask the Slump God, and he released his first song on SoundCloud in June of 2013. Some of X's rap music's distinguishing features were harsh distorted 808 bass and lo-fi production elements. X's debut album, entitled 17, was released on August 25th of 2017, and his second album, Question Mark, was released on March 16th, 2018, and debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. I'm not gonna front or lie like I was a huge diehard fan of X, but I did enjoy his music, and I always listened to his new music whenever he dropped anything, and I really did respect him as an artist, but I would never claim to be his number one fan or anything. I first heard about X a couple years ago when he claimed that Drake stole his flow, and I was most impressed by the fact that the like to dislike ratio was high and the comments on the video were unmistakably in X's favor. Up to that point, I had never seen anyone call out Drake without being dismissed as a hater. So that's what initially piqued my interest in X. I personally never respected Drake. That's no disrespect to Drake fans. I understand that Drake makes catchy music and if you enjoy that, more power to you. But Drake always came off as disingenuous and fake to me. So the fact that X successfully called Drake out was a huge positive in my opinion. What I liked most about X was that he didn't seem afraid to speak his mind and go against the grain. He was articulate, he seemed to be a critical thinker who wanted to better himself and others, and he was also incredibly creative. I also understand that there was some controversy surrounding him in regards to domestic abuse allegations and the fact that he also beat up a gay guy in prison. However, he was never actually convicted or found guilty of the domestic abuse alleged against him. And I think that people judging X for beating up a gay guy in prison are ridiculous and they're ignoring context. Prison is brutal. If people catch wind of any sign of weakness in you in there, they will exploit it. I find it ridiculous when I see some comfortable middle-class white people judging X's behavior while in prison as if the context is no different than being in a Starbucks, sipping a soy latte, and a gay guy glances at you, so you decide to beat him up. It's apples to oranges. Nobody's perfect. Tupac was convicted and served time on rape charges, Gandhi was racist against black people, and Martin Luther King Jr. routinely cheated on his wife. X was only 20 years old when he died. And from where I was sitting, it looked like he was trying to straighten himself out and become a positive force in the world. The people taking joy in or celebrating his death are scumbags in my opinion. And I guarantee that they've all got skeletons in their closet that they wouldn't want anyone to see. But anyway, let's get into the cookup. The first thing we have to do is find a sample. X liked to sample Shiloh Dynasty. Shiloh was sampled in Jocelyn Flores, Everybody Dies in Their Nightmares, and Carry On by X. I like this track called Waiting. There was no download option on the track on SoundCloud, so I need to go to a third-party site that will convert the link into a downloadable MP3 file. I drag the sample into the playlist. Now I have to set the tempo and chop the sample to get it as quantized as possible. This is going to take some time to tinker with. This is the final chop I came up with. Now it's time to add some effects. We need to put an EQ on the sample and cut out the lows and the highs. Next, we have to drench the sample in reverb. Now it's starting to sound like an X-type sample. Next, we have to lay down some bass. I'm going to place some 808s by ear in a higher octave and then move them lower. I'm putting them in a higher octave first because I find it easier to hear them like that.
Now we add some lo-fi percussion. I started off with this perk. Next, I added a bell. I added another perk. I added some hats. I laid down this snare. The snare just repeats on the 3 and 7 over and over again until this end bit here, where it hits a few extra times. And I laid down a kick. Here's what the drums sound like all together. Time for some lyrics. X's lyrics tend to focus on one, emotions and feelings, two, mental health with an emphasis on depression, and three, he used uh as an ad lib a lot. And just a disclaimer, I'm not attempting to do an outright impression of X. I'm just attempting to copy his flow patterns and subject matter. With that being said, let's see what we've come up with. Uh, 